in this demonstration I will show how to use um, a Java program with multiple methods to do this we normally create uh, we create normal Java program uh, so first a Java project under Eclipse and uh, give the project a name um, we'll call it many methods and once it's ready to respond I will create a new class so new Java class I will give it a name I can give it any name I can also specify a package but it's optional um, for this particular demonstration so uh, this is going to be the name of the class and we, as you know we have to have at least one class so I will call it uh, method demo it's not the best name that you can come up with but this is the demonstration that we're doing so I also click public static void main so it creates it all for me and here we go so what we as you have seen you know we can put all our uh, code in here in the main method uh, but uh, but the issue is we sometimes want to uh, separate things out into different methods so now you might think okay so I'm just going to create another one just like uh, main um, and you, you might think okay I don't need the static and you create public void um, another method um, and you open and close the brackets you may have seen similar examples and then you try to see uh, if you can do the same thing inside another method so the print statement is now moved to that method and you think okay I can I can run this I can just call it like uh, this it's not going to work though and you can immediately see there's a red underline um, the reason for that is uh, this this um, method is inside uh, the same class and the main method is a static method and by static uh, what it means is it doesn't need an object to uh, actually run the method now uh, Java is object oriented as you know and uh, typically um, unless a method is named static you need to have an object um, created to uh, call that method so uh, for example when we use the scanner class and we, we, have, we create a scanner object and use next int and next double so uh, there are two ways to go about uh, this problem you can either say uh, public static void another method and immediately you can see the red underline went away and if I run this um, this message is coming from inside that other method so that's one quick easy uh, dirty fix uh, I call it a dirty fix because um, it's generally not recommended it's okay if you're not doing object oriented code to write code like that if you're um, learning procedural programming and not object oriented programming it's not that bad uh, it's not a big deal if you leave it like that but the correct way to do things is in at least in Java is by not having the static part uh, when you want to create another method that is not to say that it is wrong to have static methods. static methods are um, acceptable when they are needed uh, there are there are static static methods even provided by Java for example um, math dot absolute is uh, or power uh, those are all uh, static methods we never create objects for those things so um, but if you are going to have multiple methods or regular st standard methods in your uh, code uh, the, the right way to do it is like this you create the, the method uh, without the static part and when you want to call it so now I will rename the first method another method 1 and the new method another method 2 so as you know I can't say another method 2 in here because I didn't put the static it will say um, you, you can't do it see it's a you cannot make a static reference to a non static method um, so it's saying the static is missing so instead of putting static the nice thing to do here would be to create an object of the same class so method demo is the class that I created I will call it um, MD now for lack of a better name for that object and I will say new method demo now what I have done here is I have created an object 
of the class that main is in. Now that's completely acceptable. And through that, I can see now I can access another method too um, very easily. So um, I will call this hello world one and hello world two. So uh, I have shown both ways of creating um, uh, additional methods. Um, strongly, I strongly recommend using the second approach, but if you don't have any other way of doing things, uh, the first one is also doable, but again, uh, in object-oriented programming, you would do like this. So uh, just to clarify, if you, are, if you are creating or if you are uh, creating further methods that are not static, now I will call this another method 3 and hello world 3. You don't need to recreate another object or anything. You can say uh, the same object name dot another method 3 and then um, it will work fine um, just like that.